strings. No explosion. Seven. It's a cloudy day, but uh, at 12, 13, 14 amps, 15, 16 amps for climbing, 70 volts at 2.8 volts being fed into it, which is perfect. Um, here we go. And a flash. Searching for the voltage of the system. looking for wattage to pull. At least five watts needs to be pulled. So what I'm going to do is hit this breaker. This whole shop is now powered through this. So it's looking for something to pull. Possibly. <laughs> Trouble keeping touch this time. The light's blinking. We are officially powered by solar electricity, folks. Uh, that light proves it. <laughs> Currently pulling 78 volts at 17 amps. Uh, if you times those together, you get your wattage at the moment. Which, uh, my calculator is on the iPhone. <laughs> So the sun just came out, it's uh, about 5.30 in the evening, and we're pulling 1.72 kilowatts per hour, which is not bad at all. We're only using 200 watts, a little over, and all is going well.
we have a Flexmax FM80, which is an 80 amp charge controller by Outback Power Systems. We have a relabeled Xantrax in uh, e-panel that Advanced Power has sold me. Um, inside is all of the bars, bonding, bonding blocks, all of the fuses to isolate. Obviously the solar and the batteries and the inverter, which is the main 175 volt switch here. And uh, we're powering a 4400 watt Magnusine pure sine wave inverter, which has the ability to uh, either go, well, we have it, two circuits at 110, or we can piggyback them together, put them on top, run a 240 volt circuit as well. Uh, eventually I will be doing that, but for now that's all we need. Um, we just have a few uh, fuses that we're powering, different things here. These, to be, these guys need to be finished, so I taped them off. 